Hello, my name is Alistair McClellan. I'm the editor of HSJ. For our second topic, we explored what is being asked of chief executives and how that is changing. We are seeing chief executives in all sectors having to guide their organisations and sometimes their local health economies towards a sustainable future, protecting both their financial situation and the quality of care they offer. Some are being asked to run more than one trust or to lead sustainability and transformation programmes which may require painful service changes. So what personal attributes do chief executives need to cope with these demands? And what advice would they give to those newly appointed to the role? I don't know what the end point for my organisation is. And the narrative's got to be about sustainable services, not organisations. And uh, I think people can swallow that easy, but it's, it's more difficult to tell the story. And that's because we're just living in this age of variability, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity. And we've got to exercise our judgment and being truthful, you know, as Sarah James point, about being honest with people about where things are and also being honest with others about the realities. So this idea that collaboration is cuddly couldn't be the furthest thing from the truth. The first thing for me would be the size of the organisation and the, and the experience that the individual had. And I think it's about thinking through, um, does the individual uh, recognise or believe that they have the right leadership skills and experience that fit that organisation? You've just got to be authentic, honest and open. And sometimes even when you've been battered, you've got to know how to use some of those forces and those tools. So working with the media, working with local politicians, working with community leaders, to kind of build some relational fabric that will hold you, anchor you at times like that. And as well as getting kind of savvy around Twitter and vlogging and every other use of social media. But I think the main thing is to know your place, know where you're coming from and just be really honest. If I was advising a brand new chief executive starting in post, you know, in the next few weeks, the first thing I would say is you've got to build a really strong team around you. No matter what your experience is, what your background is, you're only going to be successful and be able to do a good job if you've got a really, really strong team. The second thing is to build a strong relationship with the chair and the board. The chairman is your boss as the chief executive and you need to really work with them and understand both what they want from you, but how they want to work with you. So you've got the right relationship really going from the off. It's really difficult for first-time chief executives because many of us around this table had the good fortune perhaps to work in organisations that were smaller but weren't as challenging. Every hour we spend in a meeting about an ACS, ACO, STP, whichever bit of the complex system we inhabit is an hour we're not spending on the front line. So all of the things we discussed earlier that come through in the CQC reports rely on a very present, visible leadership. So, I mean, social media can be a, a great method of, of communication, but I, I tend to only use it for really positive things. It does make you very, very accessible. The most sort of distressing things are when you get abusive tweets on perhaps a Saturday night when you're at home with your family and someone um, seems to be having quite a personal attack on you. And I think that can be quite difficult to cope with, quite difficult not to take um, personally. The chief exec role has shifted. I think they're looking more about patient outcomes rather than organisational form. The part they play in system-wide transformation has grown significantly. One thing that has remained is the fact that chief execs tend to set out their values and actually make most of the decisions through their own sort of value set, using that as a filter through which to perhaps feel justified in some of the tough decisions they have to make. All of the chief execs I've spoken to as part of the HSJ Top Chiefs exercise have been very positive about the current situation, about the future, about their part in helping shape the future uh, with a keen eye on quality as the main driver.